For many decades, Congress has built up the funding for agencies like ICE and CPP. And looking at it today, the public opposes mass deportation and is looking forward to a pathway to citizenship. So with cutting funding for ICE and CBP, Congress should also look toward looking for a pathway to citizenship for our communities. My name is Alejandra and I am Edder's cousin. Growing up undocumented, you always know the risk of what it means to be around police and like what it means to be arrested and um, the connotation that that holds. But it was just surreal to know that my cousin, who was practically my brother, um, was in the hands of police. Going through the gates to the detention center, you see um, ICE buses and you see ICE patrol cars and you see barbed wire. And that's your first impression is um, vehicles that are made to haul masses of people away. And then once you get inside, I remember feeling so frustrated and like having so much despair when like I couldn't touch him. That there was, knowing that there was a glass between us, I remember just like putting my hand up on the glass and like hoping that I could feel his warmth through the glass and like just know that he was okay. We've seen each other since we were both playing with Hot Wheels and Barbies to graduating high school together, to playing club soccer together, to now all of a sudden I'm sitting across from him and there's the glass between us and he's in a blue uniform. Um, and that was hard um, just to just to know that like his whole existence was summed up to that.